it's gone. How's what going? You know, things, life, whatnot. Life is not whatnot, and it's none of your business. <sighs> so you going to New Faces Dance tonight, or? It's also none of your business. Hi guys, not gonna waste any time today. We are now gonna be on day four of my 80s week. So if you have not seen The Burbs, I'll link it at the end of this video. And I also have True Beverly Hills 1 and 2. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. By the title of this video, you know that we're gonna do 16 candles. All right, so as you know, I like to get, grab my favorite images and so these are some of my favorites. I think I probably have a lot going on in terms of images, but this is for you to just take my idea and bend it to however you would like to do it. Now, because I am behind on my planner, um, I am actually decorating a week that's already in the past for me. So I really don't need to have too many open boxes. Again, after this video, I'll go back in and see what major things that I think I remember doing that week. Um, if I can't remember anything, it'll just be like a decorated week. Because really the whole overall goal for me and my planner channel is to give you guys decorating ideas. Although I would like to start getting into showing you guys like things that you could like put in your planner to do if you just kind of feel like you don't have that much going on. Kind of like me, um, I've said this before time and time again, but I'm not a jet setter. I don't go travel to a lot of places. I don't always have a lot going on. So sometimes I have nothing to put in my calendar, but it is kind of fun to take that time to create things for yourself to do. Keep yourself busy and have things to look forward to. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. What I want to do is figure out my washi and my construction paper. All right, so I have picked out red. I just feel like red is the color that's really popping through here. It's in Long Duck Dong's top. It is in the 16 Candles and it's his red Porsche. So Porsche, whatever. Um, so I'm gonna go with red construction paper to kind of like make that my main color. And I'm gonna go ahead and use, I think this washi, I may end up changing it, but I want red to kind of tie in the red. And I was thinking about doing gold for the candles. I'm thinking I'm gonna do 16 candles throughout this spread. And I also got this sticker set from Michaels. And I really love the school bus just because this whole movie is based off of them being in high school. And you know, in the 80s, everyone pretty much rode the school bus. And I really liked this because it has a huge window and I wanted a picture of her and Farmer Ted in it. Kind of like this, if you will. But I actually haven't found I actually haven't printed that image is what I need to do. So I may not even end up using this, but we'll just kind of see. So let's go ahead, get everything cut up and figure out where all of my boxes are going to go.
All right, so because I am gonna incorporate these colorful candles, I decided to go with all red washi. I didn't want it to be um, too, too busy. So I just wanted to do all red washi, all red construction paper. I'm also gonna add something here to the side that's I think gonna be gold. I'm not really sure what the color is there. So that will pick up on the like gold detail of these little candles. So I'm gonna add 16, so I'm gonna do eight over here. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some text here, but what I'm gonna do differently is I'm gonna have the words kind of like go on the side, whereas in my last spread they were kind of going down like this vertically, but I'm gonna make them go horizontally like this. And Long Duck Dong, honestly, in my opinion, makes this movie as classic as it is, because he's just crazy. And so I'm gonna put my favorite line of what he says, which is, what's happening, hot stuff? So I'm gonna put that here. So I'm gonna pull in this gold, uh, these gold stickers. Okay, so I wanted to do something kind of out, more outside the box than I normally do. So I figured, what is the one thing that I feel like is really iconic about this whole video for me specifically? And that is when she is filling out the questionnaire, the little note, which nowadays is done through texting or Snapchat. But in my day, we actually wrote notes and passed notes. And so she's filling out the whole questionnaire about who she would, you know, do it with and so I thought this note has to be in this spread like it has to be in here so I have this little notebook and I'm gonna try to recreate it so the first thing that I noticed is that the person that started the note wrote in blue ink I think and she writes in black ink so I'm gonna try to mimic that as well so in the movie um, I don't think that we ever get to see all of the actual questions on there. So what I saw was question number one, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I think seven was on the back, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and put seven here. I'm already laughing honestly because when she's writing this note is if you haven't watched this movie you seriously will not be disappointed so okay so I've got all the questions filled out and now I'm gonna switch to black ink and write her answers and I noticed this person did all caps and then she wrote obviously in different handwriting um, all right actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these little inserts and I found them at Michael's when I was getting these little candles and they're actually made for the happy planner and it's really cool because you can insert pictures so what i want to do is i'm just going to cut this one out i don't even know if you can technically do that but i'm doing it anyway and what i'm going to do is kind of fold the little note and put it in here so i thought that would be kind of cute to do but also just to kind of show you the note again. Oh my. 
my goodness, I think that's so adorable. Oh my goodness. I think this is so cute. I still feel like it's a little too neat for me. So I think I'm gonna try to like scribble um, things that I think I've done that week and I'll be right back. So back in my day, and I actually still have the, a binder that I kept all of my notes to my friends. My daughter loves it. She goes through it all the time with her friends because they think it's so interesting. Like they've just discovered something from outer space. But w whenever I was passing notes, I loved to like always make mine with like block letters and do like really different colors. So I'm just trying to make it look like this is a binder has like a little like 80s binder effect, if you will. All right guys, this is my sweet, my sweet 16, my 16 candles 80s movies week spread. I love how this one turned out too. I just think that honestly, the little parts where I made it look like it's, you know, notes passing back and forth, I think it really made this spread. It was a little too plain and a little too neat before. And I definitely wanted to give it that um, messier element. So I love the actual 16, there are 16 candles here. And this is the like epic picture. I feel like I picked all the images that are funny. The only one that I really wanted in here that I didn't get in here was the girl with the braces played by um, Joan Cusack. So, which is funny because that's her brother, John Cusack. So the siblings were in the same movie. And so that was the only picture that I just couldn't find to get in here, but all of these scenes are hysterical. I mean, if you haven't seen this movie, I just cannot give it away, but it is so, so super funny. And honestly, when I see this image, I can hear the music playing. I don't know, anyway. So I don't know if anyone ever looks at like certain images and you can just hear the music cue, but I think this turned out absolutely like, just perfect to me. I love it so much. And honestly, it makes me excited for at the end of the year when I do a flip through. Um, it will be interesting to see which ones I think will be my favorite spreads for 2018. I just feel like I've done so many really great spreads. I think this has probably been my best planner year ever. So comment down below. Let me know what your favorite planner spread that I've done to date is, including all the ones from the past. And I do have a planner playlist down below for you as well. But this is 16 Candles. I hope that you guys enjoyed and got some inspiration from this. And again, I'll link um, the other 80s down below. I really, really love how the burbs turned out. So go check out all of those videos. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos and being so supportive of my channel. I feel like I haven't said that in a while, but I am very thankful for that. And I will see you guys in my next 80s spread there i think there are three more spreads to go so stick around you're gonna love them and i am saving the best for last